Hey guys, welcome back to Lies of P. So, I don't know what went wrong, uh, but all I did was like receipt my little HDMI cable and it seems to be working again. So, I guess it was like a random glitch or something. Uh, but yeah, welcome back to Lies of P. The goal is to beat up the little. I don't even know what you call this thing. It looks kind of like the mon the robots in near Automata. So I'll call it the Automata robot. If that fire didn't hit me that hard, I would have been okay. But I had to use like two heals off that one. Yeah, but that was pretty good. I think I should be good on like the next one or something. called a specter. Oh well. Uh, let's see if we can solo it.
trying to counter, but it's not really going well. Wait, maybe if I hit these guys, they might drop it? That item might attribute or push it. Oh, they do. They actually do drop it. Oh, they actually drop a lot. I guess they're expecting you to spend a lot of time on this boss, and you can't... I mean, it's going to be super difficult if you don't have these little items to use. Powered flame amplifier, king flame urkel, and flame grindstone. What? I can change my grindstone? How do I change the grindstone? Because I would be definitely interested in changing the grindstone. I don't see how that works. And the guide disappeared so quickly too. Okay, can I go back to the guide? Yes. Give me a Pondine Drift Urgo. Uh, grindstone. Nope. I have no idea how to change the grindstone. Legion arm core part grindstone Legion caliber uh, 
Lean grindstone, but how do I get it? Oh, there we go. A grind special grindstone that can be equipped to a grinder. It can be triggered by using a grinder when guarding because it is fragile and cannot be used often. Special grindstone were made to respond quickly in battle. Okay, so temporary imbues weapon with fire. Use the grinder while guarding. So if I guard and then grind. What? I'm not seeing the fire effect. I guess maybe they'll teach me how to use it or something? I don't know. Is this the butler? What do we have here? A broken butler puppet. Now, I seem to remember someone on the second floor. Think it belongs to him? We gotta ask what happened sometime. Now's good. Okay, so I can go back to him to ask him what happened or yeah wait hotel karat he's there oh you left already Now, where is he? Where is he? This is ah, kind of like that. If it isn't my savior. Glad to see you made it back in one piece, my friend. Huh? Why is he all fixed up? Bongiorno, and welcome to the house of Vanini. I am Master Vanini's major domo, Pelcinella, at your service, sir. The House of Vanini carries only the finest in luxury merchandise. I believe you'll find all items to be both superior quality and distinguished provenance. I am certain you will be able to find something that suits you, sir. At the House of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. Okay, good stuff. Oh, I can buy these. Is it like a one-time purchase? Restores weapon handle adjustment. Oh, it is a one-time purchase. Oh, and here's armor. Uh, and then there's another grindstone. I don't know how to use it though. Sure, let's just buy everything. And then everything has a price. Can I sell that? book that guy sold me nope okay there you are my boy my savior yes that's the word you took back the factory and i cannot thank you enough without the factory no more new puppets the army has run out of recruits my friend you saved well all of us Ah, but listen to me going on and on about my concerns, and I don't believe I've even introduced myself. Signor Lorenzini Venigni, gentlemen, bon vivant, and at the moment, utterly at your service, my friend. If the name Venigni rings no bells, perhaps you've heard of Kratz, Prince of High Society. That is because they are one and the same. Just two of the many names I've collected in my three decades here on Earth. While I sincerely believe meeting Venigni is its own reward, I have not rewarded you in the more uh, traditional manner. Please, take this. My newest prototype. It'll be safe with you. It's a grinder stone that keeps granting special attributes to the grinder. I hope you'll put it to good use. Oh, that's how I get it. Okay. You can equip a special grinder, uh, a grindstone on a grinder through 
Benigni or a Stargazer. There are different types of grindstones that grant special uh, different effects to your weapons. You can use the special grindstones effect in battle only once. What? But it recharges if you revive or visit a Stargazer. What? One time oh, use. My eyes do not deceive me. I never imagined I'd actually see it again, and in the flesh, so to speak. I just designed it, set it aside, and never got back to it. Genius and the claim can keep one quite preoccupied, I'm afraid. You are really interested in the arm, I see. Then, my friend, you shall have it. It just needs a few mechanical adjustments to fit your um, particular needs. And frankly, this design is almost child's play to me now, so let's start by making it a bit stronger, shall we? I will also add what we brilliant inventors call modularity. That means it will be much easier to improve and repair since you'll be able to use commonly found parts. You might say this arm's new abilities are... Uh, legion! <laughs> no? Too much? It was too much. What did... Do you give me something new? Or I always welcome... About? Oh, you just talked about this? Oh, okay. Fire, electric, blitz. I guess fire is probably better, right? So I can burn enemies. Electric, because they're all what? Robots? Yeah, sure. Maybe electric's better. Okay, so how does this work? Okay, so I can do L1 and R square, and it goes that. And I have, like, electric weapons. Gives me the ability to have like electric weapon for about one minute, or is it like 30 seconds? Uh, I'm sure I'll find a use for it. I just don't know what's that, like what that's good for at the moment. You can craft legion arm with a legion plug. Use the Viganini craft machine. Oh, that's right. That's this. Amatsa. You think it's a tram for? Good snow. This. Oh, that's what he was telling me to do, to craft this. Wait, can I change? Oh, I guess these are all the other arms that's possible, right? This looks really cool. Wait, motion sensing landmine? Oh, I don't like that. Sticky substance. He just, oh. Block enemy attacks and it explodes. Hey, this one feels really good. And it's counter too. I really like counter. I want this. When can I get it? Falcon eyes? Is this a sniper? Oh, that's cool. Okay, whatever. Let's make the flamberg. What's this? Modify? Oh, okay. I can modify this. Wave of fire, enhances fire after a certain time, explosion. Two small sparks inflict damage while charging. Oh, that's cool. Increases the maximum level for charging. Whoa, that looks super strong. Whoa, this looks super cool, too. So, Legion, once you upgrade it long enough, you can... Okay, you can go to an enemy. Wait, drag... Hold the, to track an enemy. Go forward, and I can dodge. Do all that, too. 
Oh, that's actually cool. I don't know what I want, so I'm not gonna upgrade any of the Legion arms yet, just until I have I know like, my some way around it. Yeah, I don't wanna accidentally like use up all my materials or something. Welcome to every puppet in Krat. It is not surprising that some puppets broke away from the Grand Covenant. I've no idea how many. I remember a few Ergo puppets behaving according to their own volition before the Frenzy. That wasn't our intention. They were never designed to act that way. But if a puppet starts acting on its own, does that mean the puppet has free will? Or is someone else controlling the puppet? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Activate P organ. Oh, I got a new P organ. Oh, wait. Oh. Let's see. Increases number of house cell uses. Retain guard regain. Oh, that's the health. Retain guard regain one. Retain when you receive the damage. Increase the number of amulet equipo slots. Oh, that's actually super helpful, but I don't have amulets right now. I don't even have a third one, right? Oh, that boss didn't give me a quartz? That's strange. I thought a boss would always give me a quartz, then how am I supposed to get more? I'll use my power. Okay, level up. Uh level up more stamina or more technique. Actually, let's use up my I've been stockpiling this stuff. So let's just use it. Not all of it, just in case I need it to like top up little things here and there, but most of it. Treasure Hunter may want this Ergo, so I guess I should save those for a I'll Treasure Hunter. Um, but for now, let's level up. How much damage can I get? 9 damage. Which... I'm not seeing diminishing returns yet. And usually when you see diminishing returns, that's when you want to like... Stop using it. Okay, let's do that. A little bit more health. Um, but other than that, I think that's it. Switch grindstone. Oh, it's this. Yep, okay. Let's see. Nothing else there, so let's go to... Wait. I never explored that area. That area that was like... Where I got killed that time? I never explored it fully. Maybe the, the big sword that the Spectre was using is somewhere there. So I kind of want to go and hunt for that. I also didn't go the other way from like where the... Uh, the two stalkers or whatever they're called are. Okay, what's this? Benyingi is a jerk. I want to make it smudge Benyingi. I'm assuming they're gone now, right? Yeah, I don't see them anymore. Right? Two stalkers? Yeah. Okay, so this is the place I didn't explore. I'm like, I know this guy does. There's a little ladder thing there. 
I must atone for my sins. I must kill more puppets. More. More. Whoa. All puppets must die. Every single one. I, I hear the sound of springs inside you. You're a puppet too. Uh oh. You can't fool me. Uh oh. All oh, puppets must die. Kill the puppets. Oh, I can't run away. You must have. You must have like super good hearing if you hear the springs inside me. I wish I'd known that surviving is a hell of its own. Stun him. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's stab him. Okay, let's do a quick heal and then. Dead. Okay, huh. It's uh, kind of strange. But I know that place leads to a shortcut, so that's kind of cool. But, like, I don't understand the point of having a shortcut to this spot. It's not very quick. But I guess it's just kind of like world building, like making the entire area connected. Not so much like, like it actually has a practical use. So this is the only place I haven't actually explored. I don't know if... I don't know if this is the next place I have to go, or if it's like... Oh. Yeah, I don't know if this is the next place we have to go, or is like... Oh, like an optional area? Because I feel like I was supposed to continue from where, like, the... The proper way is supposed to continue from the use Trinity key. Oh, that's what this is for. Oh, it's another puzzle. Oh, and this is a shortcut to the other stargazer, right? No? Wait. Pretty sure it's the stargazer gate. Is it not? Did I get it wrong? Where is this? Well, let's go to the Trinity evening. It's a, I believe it's another riddle, right? Question for the day, did this factory worker ever think he would be destroyed like a puppet? Blue bud, heel coat and quartz. And then I guess this is the riddle. Very quick one, you who opened the door be one of the great ones. I don't. I didn't even remember I got a Trinity key, so it's like, kind of like a nice thing. What is this place? Hmm. 
ladder let me come down here, so what is it? This place looks kind of familiar. Oh, okay, I see. This is where the butterfly was. And then I went back over here. And now I think I fully explored the... Yeah, the stargazers here now. Yep, and with that, I think I've explored the uh, area fully. Oh, except for that, I haven't gone there. I still see an item that I can pick up too. I would come here. This looks like a really safe place. Now I know I cleared out both uh, the entire factory and everything, so there's no way I could have gotten that uh, double-handed sword that the Spectre used during the boss battle. I wonder if that means it's like a future one. Yeah, but I assume this place is where I'm supposed to go. Looks like trap. Oh. I was hoping I could like sneak past it or something, but it blew up uh, once I got close. So basically, it's like a landmine. Let's quickly swap to uh, the booster glaives so I can play it around with it a little bit. Just a little change of pace. I might still go back to repair if I find like it's harder for me to stay alive like this. And two hits. This weapon is strong. What? 
reach is it? Oh, why did that not hit? Man, charge attack is so easy to hit with this one because it's like lying towards the enemy. It's so good. Maybe I'll switch to this, but then I lose that really cool. What is the ability on this? Storm slash patient slash. So storm slash rush forward slash multiple times. Uh, patient slash is a charge attack. It up. So I know how it works before I use it. Boss. Yeah, this makes fighting these guys so easy because they die in one hit. And you can do it from a distance, like outside of their normal attack range, too. Couldn't get out of the the little charge attack. Just kept on stunning me. You lose Urgo when you take damage. I was at 6,000 and then when I got hit, I lost. When you lose, when you die, and your Urgo is on the ground, you lose Urgo when you get hit. I didn't know that. Oh, and the Urgo doesn't completely disappear; it just gets reduced in uh, quantity. So now it's like two five nine nine instead of six thousand where it was at. Okay. 
That's actually really interesting. Um, but I'm gonna switch back to repair for speed reasons. I feel like I'm going very slow when I'm using the boost glaive versus repair, which is like super speedy and nice and speedy, super quick. Test something later. When I die, my herb will move over to this one. But it got reduced because I got hit. So technically, if I died right away by like jumping off the cliff or something, or dying by fall damage, wouldn't I be able to really get my ergo back super quick without being hit even once? And then my ergo would just be like really close by but it wouldn't have reduced much because I didn't take a lot of hits or well, maybe it's like HP based if you die you lose 670% yeah, I don't know it'd be interesting to see to like test and see how much you can keep. is this a weapon? big pipe I'm not really interested in pipes as a weapon it doesn't look like Stone of the Covenant. Is that the next tier upgrade material? Oh no. Oh, this guy. Make him come out because it's a little bit dangerous to fight him. Amulet. Does that mean me carrier heavier things? Yeah, increase weight limit. I see. That's okay. Oh, another checkpoint. Okay, I'm gonna head back to Hotel Kratz. So I can like upgrade the repair a little bit because of that stone I picked up and then upgrade stats a little bit. But yeah, it's it's like games like these where you realize that after you beat a big mob, you get a checkpoint. That's a sigh of relief and good game design because like a game's supposed to be fun. So when you encounter a challenge and you overcome it, where these elite mobs are kind of like a challenge because it's hard to skip them. I know my way around you should be able to have like a 
a kind of like a, a way to like you know chill out or something but some games don't have that and that makes it a bad souls like if i if you ask me because nobody wants to be stuck fighting like these mobs over and over again because it's not fun you want to make progression oh yeah i can alter it okay Oop, don't want that i can alter this to become a and because i'm mostly focused on technique i can do a lot i can do a bit more damage or i could add in this or have it like this if I have advance, I would scale on two more stats, but because the scaling is so bad, it doesn't really do much. Saber, great sort of fate handle. And if I assemble weapons with Oh, that's why they're on the handles. Because the weapons weren't made. Okay. Okay, so the handles what okay, what gets adjusted is the handle. plans to upgrade technique or I mean other stats yet so might as well just upgrade technique and have like a, a little bit more damage and then I picked up one quartz so I can go and upgrade the skills and unlock like one more tree Man, I thought that Dark Moon Covenant thing was actually part of a... Like the... Perfect Guard Destruction? Destruction damage to enemies when a perfect guard is successful. So far so good. I feel like I'm making pretty good progress in Lies of P. I don't know how long this game is actually to be, but it doesn't feel like it would be that long based on the UI. But I don't know if that's like by choice because it doesn't feel like there's a lot to customize. Like if I look at equipment, it feels like this is kind of it. Like that's it. And even if you look at the bags too, like normally when you see a lot of materials, you can kind of Wait, upgrade special weapons. Oh, special weapons. Oh, but I don't have any special weapons. Okay, that's cool. That's something to look forward to. Yeah, it kind of feels like there aren't a lot of things to build, though, right? Like, the hands, there's only five. But then I already know there's more than five because it expands. So I guess this isn't a super accurate way. Okay, whatever. 
Uh, let's keep pressing forward. These bodies. Could they be from Moonlight Town? Whoa, did puppets do this? Wow. Man, I need to be able to get out of that. Can I guard when they're stabbing me? Because, like, it feels kind of cheap when there's, like, a move that can take out 75% of my health in one go. Whoa. What the? So there's a bunch of enemies that gank you. Nothing good drops from them. Whoa. Okay, that was uh, unexpected. Did not expect a drop. And then there's like these landmine things again. Oh, butterfly. Yes, butterfly. More than one, huh? Oh, I can upgrade my weapon. Nice. Okay, two. Moonlight Town Guide. Okay, that was actually pretty good. Uh, there's two ways up, or is this like a secret? No, this is a dead end. But there's no way, right? Really? Why would you make a log go to a dead end? Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe you accidentally fall off and explode. Okay, I'm out of healing items, so... Oh. Wow, being unable to like block or move or dodge out during that stab attack is a little bit cheap. But I mean, it's also telegraphed, so I kind of, it's a skill issue kind of thing. Like, I can't move out of that charge attack when they get me. You always know it's coming, so in a sense that makes it even worse. Because you know it's coming, but you just screwed up and didn't dodge it right. Oh, maybe that's why there's this log here. Oh, okay. That's why there's a log here. It's a shortcut to skip through absolutely everything. to do that gank.
Wow. So I can't even block it. I do. I have to dodge it no matter what. Man, that tutor was too fast. I couldn't read it. This is in the early days of the petrification disease. You know, I'm actually very confused. Why is there a petrification disease? It sounded like it was very rampant. But all the corpses I see are just basically uh, smushed by puppets. Other than that one guy with like the exploded head. Which doesn't look like petrification to me. It looks like an exploded head. I don't like that these farmer tools. Okay, why are these farmer tools so strong? get those chests so I have to keep on trying oh these farmer tools Close. Both of them almost stabbed me. Okay, by dash and heavy attack, it's two steps. four times here. <sighs> okay, give me something good. Uh, corrosion? Hey, corrosion's good. Yeah, give me that. Okay, so the thing that does most damage to me right now is pierce, so let's go with pierce. Wait, am I heavy now? Oh, still light. It feels like it's gonna have, there's gonna be like a, a big mech or a big robot thing come down. Maybe not, it's just the tram. Wait. Oh, is this guy gonna fight me? Do you want to go up, child? I'm sorry, but the train isn't in service anymore. The cathedral isn't the sanctuary it once was. The people who went up there never returned. I still don't know what happened, but I do know this. The cathedral is off limits forever. If you're determined to pass, you must prove your identity. Who are you? Are you a stalker? Uh, I don't know. Do the stalkers 
Computing. Interesting. I thought all the stalkers died when the workshop tower collapsed. As for me, I'm as good as dead. A sinner who lost everyone I ever loved. I have no right to stop someone as determined as you. Please be safe up there. Your springs are reacting. Please be safe up. Man, I have no idea what the spring's reacting mechanic is, but I'm guessing it has something to do with some ending. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Pilgrim's Cable Railway. Now, those of you who joined us in Moonlight Town, we hope your preparations for the Pilgrim's Journey are well underway. Fascinating town, Moonlight. Just fascinating. Back in the day, the only way to reach the cathedral was using a rope and pulley. <laughs> so, thanks for building it on a cliff, Saint Frangelico. I kid, I kid. Frangelica, wonderful saint, wonderful. Anyway, next stop, the Bridge of Atonement. While you atone there, don't miss a magnificent view of beautiful Crot. <laughs> it's been my pleasure, friends, and enjoy the rest of your journey. I've been your captain on this ride, Gemini! Well, not bad, huh? Oh, I really am good at this. When in doubt, let Gemini be your guide. <laughs> You, uh, you look annoyed. What I do? Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Let's get a move on, pal. Oh, something's off. Do you see that over there? I recognize dead puppets. That's to be expected. But what is that? What is he looking at? I don't know what he's referring to as that. That? Oh. What is that? That looks like a monster. Yeah, I don't know. I need to think a little bit on which Legion arm we want to use. I feel like the Legion arm would be really good for me. I'm just heading to the hotel to upgrade, but I feel like the Legion arm with like the rope would be really good because I'm so focused on tech, technique. But at the same time, I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't feel like it's that great before it reaches level three because it doesn't have any damage at all. It's just kind of like a useless item until level uh, 3. Like, I know my way level. around a weapon. Yeah. Tough, tough, tough. Uh, let's see. Boost Glaive does a ton of damage. damage again oh it's starting to not have as much scaling so maybe I should start focusing other skills
I think I've been recording for a while, so I think it's probably a good idea to end it here. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, his nose is going. I just realized that the loading screen, the loading bar is his nose. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.